Imagine if you would a piece of software that's free, easy to use, has a crap ton of features, more than we've ever seen in any piece of software we've ever covered. That also comes with an amazing and an immense amount of options for hand tracking and some body tracking. Not only that, it works seamlessly with 3D and 2D avatars. The software we're covering today is called VUP or VUP. By the end of this video, you're gonna have the knowledge required on how to set up VUP and the ability to use it. My name is Anubis Lives and I am your VTuber Senpai. And on this YouTube channel, we cover anything, everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So if you happen to like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you like today's content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And well, Let's get into it. Okie dokie. So the first thing we need to do is, well, download the application itself on Steam. Okie dokie. So now that we're here at our Steam page, all we got to do at the top is type in VUP. Hit the search button. We'll see that we see it right here. It's free to play. Click on that. And then we're going to click on the free. And well, we're going to let it download. Once it's done downloading, we're going to click launch. We're going to let VUP launch. And well, we're going to get this screen here. You got two ways that you can either create an account. Click on sign up, or you can sign up through phone. You do have a third way where you can sign up, and that's through Steam. That's what I did. And now that we have VUP installed, let's do the setup for VUP. And now that we have VUP open, we see that it has two windows, one for the avatar itself and one for the main settings. We also see that it has a novice guide that we can either check out if we want to or skip through. I'm going to click check it out later, but for you, I suggest you click yes and let it run. So now that we have VUP open and installed, what we can see is that it has a crazy amount of free avatars you could use. So if you have no budget, no skill, all that fun stuff, you have all these free avatars that you can use for yourself. But more than likely, you're going to have your own avatar that you want to upload yourself all we got to do for that is just click on add model, click import model, and then go to the directory where your model is, click open, little import. It's going to give you a whole bunch of these different options. We're just going to click save, and then we're going to double click on our VRM model. Now, one thing to note, if, for example, you're not able to blink and so on and so forth, you might actually have to click on your avatar, click on the little smiley face right there, and then add your blinks where appropriate. If not, your facial tracking may not work properly. This also goes for smiling, talking, all that fun stuff. But once that's all set up, you're really good to go. For example, here under surface capture channel, closure of right eye, we got to change it to VRC blink, might be called something different for yours. Closure of left eye, VRC blink left, select it to left. Once you're done selecting those things, hit save, and then you can see that I'm able to blink and so on and so forth. Again, you might have to set up your model just a little bit, but once it's set up, you're it's it's really worth it. Once you're done mucking about with your character, making sure everything's set up and good to go, what you want to do is hit broadcast, make sure that your webcam is selected, that camera face cap is turned on. You can change all these different little settings here. I played with them a little bit. It really didn't change anything. But the other cool thing that this application does have is phone camera capture with V face mobile. They have a little tutorial that brings you to a different website. It's pretty cool. I suggest you try it out if you don't have a normal webcam. Okay, so this next tab here, we have body capture. As you see, we have everything from leap motion to connect to HTC. The amount of options you have for doing body tracking is absolutely endless. And they actually have a good YouTube channel linked to that channel down below that shows you how to set up all this. Honestly, if you have any of these, I would honestly try and see how well it works. For me, Leap Motion, I've tested it. It actually works fairly good. Our next tab here is broadcast. This is where you could turn on your virtual camera transparent background if you need so 
you got your sound capture so if you want it to capture via your voice instead of the webcam you have that you have auto blink on you have you can record some things and you got of course screenshots the next tab down is your broadcast plan what this allows you to do is basically have specific settings for certain things so for example if you need a scene with a green screen or scene with a different background and different poses or so on and so forth you could make all these different plans and then quickly select those different plans if you chose to do so okay so we're back at the main window let's go through these tabs here we got emoji now unfortunately it doesn't seem like these work too too well you really have to set up the customization for your character for these to work perfectly but they seem to work with the default characters that come with the program we have action which allows the model to do different little actions in the background which is great you can set a shortcut key and make your avatar do well basically whatever you need it to we also have something that is absolutely fantastic props now they do come with two props but you click on add plan click on add props and there are so many little props you can add to your avatar if you wish to do so all you need to do is just click on the prop itself and then for example this prop is way 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 too large for me all you got to do is click this little edit button and then you could change the scale uh rotate offset so on so forth but it will track your head you could add it to your hands your feet so on so forth but this prop selector is just absolutely amazing to have so we're going to go to the last and final tab here which is on the top right hand side called scene now other pieces of software that we cover that has different scenes has just a little jpeg of a background this program though takes it up several notches for example we got our typical green screen which is going to be great for when we for example connect it to obs but if we want to use for example bedroom day scene you just click on it and it gives you literally a 3d virtual environment for your avatar to look around in walk around in if you have the body tracking set up again this could give you a lot of different potential to use for your streams okay so another really really neat thing that we have here is called real scene so if you have a secondary webcam set up you just select your webcam to well your secondary click on switch and this allows you to use your real life background if you you know chose to do so so you do have that option again obviously your webcam is not going to be facing yourself it'll be facing something else but it's a cool neat little thing that you can try and well use the next tab that we're looking at is called lighting settings so what this allows us to do is basically change the lighting if required so we can change intensity focal length we have other things like depth of field so if you want like a blurry background like you typically get with a well irl webcam we got ambient light we got bloom so many different lighting options by far the most i've ever seen in any application around we also have color grading we could change all of this if required just again the options absolutely endless okay so now that we've gone through the majority of the settings let's just set it all up in obs so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our scenes we're going to click on scene we're going to go to the green screen and then we're going to adjust ourselves accordingly to where we want it then we're going to go to our obs so here we are at obs so what we're going to do is we're going to assume that your scenes are already set up and good to go what we're going to do is we're going to add our source so we're going to click on the little plus sign we're going to go to game capture we're going to call it va then we're going to go to mode capture specific window window and then the one that says display we're going to capture that then we're going to click ok once there we're going to adjust it to the appropriate size we want it then right click on the go down to filters once at filters we're going to click on the little plus icon then we're going to add chroma key click ok and then there you go 
you're all set up. Now, VUP does take a little bit to initially set up, but once it's set up, it's actually really, really worth doing. I didn't fully set up my avatar in this video as it would have taken way, way too long. But after this video, I am gonna set it up fully and I plan and intend on using this software a lot more than I do VC face or Luppet. Or you could do what I did, use it as a trial for example, use their little demo avatars that they have provided for free, try it out for two, three hours, see if you like it, and then commit to adding the expressions for your avatar. This piece of software has crazy amount of features, crazy amount of abilities that you could do inside of it. So I really, really, really strongly suggest that you use this software, try it out, and then let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come on by, say hi. Let's talk about VUP, Luppet, VC face, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.